The Occupy Town Square assemblies continue to blaze a trail through the outer boroughs of New York City. Gatherings have been held every few weeks in neighborhoods such as Bedford-Stuyvesant, Fort Greene, and Bushwick in Brooklyn, Tompkinsville Square in Staten Island, and most recently at Jackson Heights Traverse Park in Queens. The day-long occupations feature teach-ins on issues ranging from the privatization of New York City's inner schools, inner city schools, excuse me, the battle for affordable housing, student debt assemblies, and the school-to-prison pipeline. The Bushwick Occupy Town Square saw bilingual English and Spanish assemblies, which lasted for hours. Occupy Queens coordinated the Jackson Heights event on Sunday, July 22nd, with a lively local farmer's market. The Tax Dodgers, a street theater group wearing sports jerseys resembling those of the old Brooklyn Dodgers, were also on hand, accompanied by the hula hoop wielding cheerleading squad, the Corporate Loopholes. The team had just come from a ceremony inducting them into the Cooperstown Baseball Hall of Fame. Participants enjoyed music, fresh food, dancing, and cultural performances while children got their faces painted. Here is a sample of sounds and sights from that day. My name is Jim Steer, and this is the Occupy Queens celebration in Traverse Park on 78th Street in Jackson Heights, Queens. We are here to celebrate life in the city. We're doing, um, we're doing screen printing. We've been working with Occupy Wall Street since September. Basically the process is you have an image that works like a stencil on a screen. So this is the free literature table of A New World in Our Hearts, which is an anarchist network in New York City that's been active for the last six years or so. This is a celebration. It's not an angry protest. So come and discuss the state of the world, the state of art, and have some laughs. What we do is we bring this table around to different parts of the city. We were all of us in one way or another working within the movement. Uh, there are some people in this project now who are working with safer spaces, uh, with uh, people of color, with the Women's Caucus, um, and facilitation. So you can kind of see through where the design is. I got involved with Occupy Wall Street when I was in my senior year in high school. Justin Reedus and Rodney Diaz came and taught me about the privatization of the public school education and the corruption in the government. We have all sorts of literature on, on various topics that we think are important, but they're all from an anarchist perspective. So it's as, as varied as historical writings that people are interested in from sort of more well-known anarchists to very, very recent writings, like this is only a month old. Um, this is written by um, a, a former Black Panther. Um, we have basic stuff. Restorative justice actually historically is extremely old. It, the process of healing harm in a community goes back thousands of years in different cultures. And I started doing sittings, teaching, working with the media, going on radio station and being interviewed and give more people the more insight of what's going on in our schools and when it's going to be phased out. It's trying to squeegee across it and it forces the ink through the spine mesh. We've had uh, the Brooklyn Free Store, the Bedside Free Store um, before. We um, put on movie nights, we have freegan community dinners uh, twice a month in Brooklyn. Anybody who wants to come can come and cook and we'll only use food that would have gone to waste otherwise. How do you make those prints? Uh, the screen itself? Yeah. It's kind of like a photography process. You put a light sensitive chemical on the screen and then you expose it in a dark room with a positive transparency of the image that you want to create and then wherever the dark spots are on the image it'll leave a hole in the screen. It feels not so school because they're labeled as failures quoted by the public education of New York City, DOE. Restorative justice is actually a way of, of bringing together somebody who's done some harm, somebody who's been hurt, and then members of the community who are either involved or distant from it, and then observers. Oh, no.
legal system, it's restorative justice is used with lawyers, it's a way of replacing sentencing, for example. The majority of citizens don't have a say in the rules uh, by which they're governed. Um, and, and people are interested when you talk about anarchism as a way that people can uh, actually be more involved in their communities.